Well, today's Monday, it's the 14th of August 2023, and uh, we were in Chester earlier on in the month, and uh, we're now in Ilchester, a uh, long way apart. Chester up in north in Cheshire and uh, Ilchester down south in Somerset and uh, we're just outside one of the churches here uh, in uh, Ilchester one that's been closed I believe for a long time really don't know much about the history of this one um, the, the churchyard and the graves all very much overgrown and uh, that's the entrance at least I think it is it doesn't look as though it's been open for a long long time. But we're going to have a look around Ilchester and uh, see if you find that place interesting. And just to say a very happy birthday to Joe. Happy birthday Joe. Happy birthday. Well that's the path we've just come down uh, to the church and you can see I don't think anybody's been down there quite a while. In fact I need to describe it as quite autumnal. It's uh, quite damp underfoot. We've had lots of rain but we seem to have got to a point where it's uh, dry and uh, it's a little bit of a, I don't know, I was going to say park, but I don't, couldn't really describe it as that. Uh, just a park bench here and a little bit of garden in front. And across the road, well, in that part of the world where we do have thatched cottages. And uh, Ilchester is a little bit like that. It's a bit oldy worldy. Um, I don't think that's the only thatch cottage here. I think there's more than one. Um, it is quite a busy road, so it's a little bit noisy. The cars going up and down it. Uh, this particular road uh, behind me leads eventually to the A303. Uh, but it goes past the Royal Navy Air Station in Yeovilton. So quite a lot of the people that live in the immediate area here are associated with the, the airbase. And just over there, a field full of sheep. Hundreds and hundreds of them over there. So it is a busy road. It's got a, a narrow Foot path, but we've got to be very careful with uh, with the dog and uh, with the children. Across there, we've got the North Northover uh, Hotel function rooms. Do you want to go past? Yeah, I'll move on. Here we are. You can catch up with me there. I think, I think they're discussing who's going in the chair. Oh, we're going to the pub, are we? Oh, oh what a good idea. So, uh, yeah, we come along here at different times of the year, but this one here, look at this giant conker tree. This is a horse chestnut, but it's absolutely laden, laden with conkers. That's going to have loads coming down. So, later on, usually around about September, October, November even, uh, these will be falling off the trees or people will be picking them. And certainly I as a boy used to do that and you break them open if they haven't already snapped open and uh, you would get the conkers from it and this one uh, there's going to be thousands of conkers on that one not edible uh, they're not chestnuts they're horse chestnuts and I can see a couple of horses in the distance can you see a couple of horses in the distance there Luna right over there there's two horses playing in the field. They've got their jackets on. It must be a bit cold over there. Quite nice mix of architecture here. Can you come on this side, Luna? That's it. Away from the road. coming up to a petrol station but remember this is a petrol station in a village uh, a few miles from the nearest town and uh, you do, certainly do pay a premium for the, uh, the petrol and the diesel in particular the diesel there 
I've actually seen it 139, so uh, and be a lot cheaper. Car sales room. I think we should buy a car, dear. So we've had some terrible weather. The sun's coming out, and actually now it is actually feeling warm. So there's the petrol station, which doubles as the post office. Yeah. And he's just going off to the post office. She's got a card to post. Another bed and breakfast and a nursery, preschool. Another car sales place. And we're just coming up to a bridge and uh, what I find quite interesting is the level of the water in the river down below. And to me, I don't know, reasonably high. actually got uh, some ducks down there swimming away some nice benches here in the middle of the bridge in the middle because uh, there's another arm of the bridge down here just have a look over there So this is the jewel of the southwest, that's Somerset, and this is the Ilchester Bridge. 2,600 years of life by the river Evel, Ivel. Um, the first stone bridge built in the 11th century widened on the upstream side in 1797, and on the downstream side, the original bridge was remains within the uh, structure it carried a small chapel in the centre on the northeast side and a small prison on the southwest side. Can't believe that. Must have been small. Uh, the Whitehall Hospital for the support of poor second week pilgrims was founded in 1217 and continue, continued as a free hospital and nunnery until 1600. Number three on the map, that's right over here somewhere, it's the site of the coal wharves. Uh, number four is the site of a suspected Roman dock, so it must have actually navigated parts of this river. Tucson Summer House in its prime and the Roman cemetery. Number seven, again right in the centre, is the site of the county jail from 1614 till 1843. Ilchester first gained its importance with the arrival of the Romans 
with two major routes, uh, the Fossway and the Axminster to Lincoln and the route to Dorchester to Bristol Channel, meeting to cross the river by the paved ford, still visible under the right conditions, the right river conditions. And there's a picture of what uh, Ilchester Jail might have looked like. At the top, the last remaining part of the prison, one time laundry and bakehouse and a portion of the perimeter wall there. And that's the Tucson Summer House in its prime. Yeah, lovely bits of history here. Having a break, are we? Are we having yeah, a break? In the post office. And the drink? Oh, they're in the. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have another look at the, the river down here. Got a good view of it here. Seems to be quite high to me, but uh, I've got no gauge. Uh, to mark it by but it looks lovely clean water passing down down there at different times of the year when, uh, when they've had a lot of rain some of the area around here does get uh, flooded I'm just going to carry on while the girls are catching me up in towards the, the centre of the village. Not a lot in the way of uh, shops in this village, so Anita doesn't have a great deal to look at, unfortunately, or fortunately. Depends which way you look at it, doesn't it? Lisa's on her way down now. I think she must have posted her package. A rare sight in, uh, in the village here, a taxi. We come from Mallorca and <laughs> lots and lots of taxis there. But uh, when you get to these villages, uh, you don't really see so many taxis. So, I suppose that's why there's so many cars on the road. It's a public footpath over private land, that's a curiosity. And it says, take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints, and keep dogs under close control. I'll go with that. I did ask Serena if there was a fish and chip shop in the village and uh, she said no, there's a fish and chip van that comes to visit a couple of days a week but over there we do have a Chinese restaurant and this is um, the High Street the High Street has the Ilchester Town Hall and Community Centre has a museum. It does have a shop, which I thought was the post office. And there is a pub, the Dolphin. That's about it. There's not a lot of health in the, in the high street. So, uh, we don't do a lot of walking down in the high street. Dolphins just down there on the left. Antiki type shop. I can hear my name being called. It really is a, a pretty village, and I suppose if you like, this is the centre of it. There's the town hall, next to it a pub. That's the Bull Inn, and have in the past uh, been for a, a drink there. Once I remember going there, just before going to the Christmas Eve carol service at the church. And uh, there's a monument. 
had to be reconstructed a few years ago after a car came a little too quickly up here and knocked it down. So it's undergone some nice repair and looking almost as good as new. <laughs> See where some of the stone didn't survive and had to be replaced at the top there as a sundial and uh, the bottom right hand corner must have needed a completely rep replacement and they've actually carved in the hours. I can wait. You can just see from the colour of the grass how the weather has been very, very green and uh, we've had a lot of, a lot of rain, and not so much sunshine, but the sunshine today. Here comes Luna. Well, that's what I said. I thought the post office was down there. There's a little shelter here. There's a nice building over there, dated 1867, JB. John and Barbara. Uh, as a waybridge. I don't think it's actually used as a waybridge, I don't know. But, uh, it is a waybridge. Where you'd uh, have your lorry or your van, you come in, you get it weighed, and then you're off you go. This is the bull. And uh, we're lucky to have another pub across the road. Uh, it's the Ilchester Arms. That's the one we usually go to. We quite often go there for dinner. Uh, and there's a, just down there, we're not going down there now, I don't know, maybe later. Uh, we've got um, an Italian restaurant. Pardon? Italian restaurant down there. And there's uh, Claire's Little Cafe. Well, Chester Yard Arms has actually got it out at the back. It's got a play area. It's got a garden, hasn't going? it? Is that where we're going? Right, and so. This one says it doesn't serve food, but you can take your own. Take your own food. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever next. We'll go down here. We've got a crossing. Oh, there's the church. So that's the church that is in operation. And um, we have been there. It's got a, an octagonal tower. Somebody did write to me and tell me something interesting about the history of that. And I've forgotten it. Must be the age I have. Ah, thank you very much. I'm just going to go have a quick look at it because um, I think I might have missed it. On a previous visit. This is the car park to the Italian. On the other side, what uh, was at one time a church, um, is now sort of a gifty sort of shop. Built in 1850 and enlarged in 1861, and it's a Wesleyan. It was a Wesleyan chapel. This is the uh, is the church now. I think we're going for a pint, but before we do that, I'll just have a little walk up to the church. A fine clock up there, showing the time to be four o'clock. The church door's open. This is St. Mary Major Church.
lovely old building it is. And now across the road I did say there was uh, Clares of Ilchester. We used to go there years ago. And Charlie and Ali, I don't think it was Clares then. And next to that, uh, antique shop and then uh, the road out down towards the Oval. So I'm going to make my way back down and hopefully join up with the, with the girls. Maybe. Get a little bit of refreshment. Build-up of cars. One car stops, and then uh, there's a big build-up of cars. So the Italian restaurant's got a lot of outside dining space, which uh, they should be using a lot at this time of the year, but uh, maybe not. I think today's looking a little bit better. Nice blue sky up there. I'm guessing that they've gone into the, the garden. Let's see if I'm right. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.